Good morning, happy Monday. Hope everyone had a great weekend. I'm in the Zen Den getting ready to do some Kundalini yoga this morning. It is a rainy, rainy, yucky Labor Day, but it's kind of nice. Everyone slept in and we're relaxing. The set I'm doing today has become one of my favorites and I'm practicing it a lot because I'm teaching it in my kundalini yoga teacher training as my last practicum. <laughs> so I'm having to practice it a lot and I love it. It's a great workout and has some really cool elements. It balances your prana, you're bringing in that life force energy with elimination, that's really important. It helps set your navel point, works on your third chakra, your heart chakra, which is amazing and so many wonderful things. So I'm gonna get started and then after I'm gonna make a little juice and I'll show you guys my favorite juice. I got a juicer and I've only made one juice and my family is like, when are you gonna try a different juice? And I'm like, I like this one. So I'll show you what it is. And sitting here perfectly, since I'm focusing on the heart chakra today, I'm gonna to put a little rose oil on my heart center. I'll just rub it right on my heart center before I start my meditation. sitting at the computer filling out all the questions for parents on my son's high school applications. I cannot believe I have a son applying to high school. It's just so crazy. This has been the most relaxing day. It's 6.45, I'm actually getting into the bath and I wanna get a really good night's sleep tonight. So I'll be all ready and I'll be able to get in bed early and force my kids to get in bed early. So this probably seems kind of random. This is a detox bath that an acupuncturist I'm working with told me to do. Hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, borax, and cornstarch. And I'm gonna throw a little essential oils in there for good measure. So I'm getting ready to plug my phone in for the night. I'm just making my night-night tea and I'll show you guys what's in it. And I'm gonna go hang with the kids and get everyone ready for a good night's sleep in school tomorrow. I have a little bit of milk, this almond milk that I love um, in my steamer. There's my steamer. And I'm gonna grate some fresh nutmeg into the cup, which is the key ingredient to help you sleep. And the nutmeg has to be ground fresh. Don't use, if you want it to help you relax and get a good night's sleep, the nutmeg, I do it with a grater right into my cup. It's, you don't wanna use what's like in your spice cabinet already ground. I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of ashwagandha. I'm really learning more about adaptogens and saying how I feel using them consistently. And this one, um, here I'll tell you. Ashwagandha helps with stress, hormonal balance, strong immune system, all these great things. So I've been putting it for a couple days into my tea. I'm going to give it a good month and see how I feel. And Sun Potion is a great brand. I'm going to use my milk frother to stir it together, blend it all. The milk, the ashwagandha, the nutmeg. There we go. Then I added a cinnamon stress relief tea bag and a little bit more hot water. And now I'm going to head upstairs with my night night tea. I'm going to plug in my phone and snuggle with the kids and get ready for a great day tomorrow.